Good, you picked up! Where are you right now, Reen? Are you done with your special ops missions? Ah, so you saw them too? I do want to talk about that, but there's another matter that needs our attention first. Can you come back to the camp ASAP? Nothing bad. The branch campus just got a request from the Governor General. That's all. He asked us to go to the party at Orcus Tower tonight as part of the security detail. Also, that we greet Prince Oliver and Princess Alfin.
Many influential individuals have gathered here at Orcus Tower tonight. However, we've confirmed that Speaker McDowell was not one of the people invited to the festivities. I worry the citizens of Crossbell won't take the news that their local representative has been snubbed like are not endorsed by this news channel. Staff and students of Thor's branch campus, thank you for all your hard work. I will explain the particulars for the security at tonight's event, but first, allow me to introduce the people for which you'll be providing security. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I'm responsible for overseeing the well-being of Heimdall. My name is Carl Regnitz. Leaves is a part of the capital suburbs. It's unfortunate we haven't met before, but this is a good opportunity for us to become acquainted. Irina Reinfurt, nice to meet you. I suppose we've been indirectly working with each other via your use of the Arcus II's, the Derflinger, and the Panzer Soldats. I've read your reports, so I have high expectations for each of you. Governor Regnitz is a sworn ally of the Blood and Iron Chancellor. She's Elisa's mother. I remember Grandpa mentioning her before. These guests, on the other hand, should require no introduction. It's so nice to meet all of you from the Branch Campus. I am the Princess of the Empire of Erebonia, Alfin Rice Arner. I wish we could have met before, but I'm glad to finally have the opportunity. I'm sure it's due to Adios's guidance that we were able to meet tonight. I am none other than Oliver Rice Arner, though some have taken to referring to me as the debaucherous prince. I am here as head of the inspection team, though as it's simply for show, it may be more accurate to call me a figurehead. However, truth be told, I actually have a small connection with all of you. Up until last year, I was the chairman of the board at Thor's main campus. And coincidences abound, for the three here with me comprise the entire board of directors. I'm sure it's a bit late by this point, but I'd like to welcome you to Thor's. Even in these turbulent times, I wish for each and every one of you to enjoy your youth to its fullest and become the foundation of the world.
Ah, welcome! Sorry to call for you like this. I'm sure you're busy with security matters. No, it's fine. I'm glad for the chance to talk. It's good to see you again, Governor Regnitz and Chairman Arena. I see Sharon is with you too. Thanks to you, I was able to promptly meet with the chairman. I'm glad to see you all were able to safely complete your duties for the day. I've heard about what you've been doing for your special ops missions. Thank you for your assistance. So you're the new Class 7? And you are Professor Erica's daughter. I yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. You know my mother? I met her when I went to Liberal with my father many years ago. We still keep in touch, even if she spends most of her letters gushing about you. <laughs> hmm. 
Mother. Nice to see you again, Governor Regnitz. <laughs> I believe the last time was at Corel Imperial Villa. But now you're one of Reen's students? This sure is an interesting class. I heard you met with Machias and Elisa earlier? Yeah, thankfully. Elisa delivered Orbal bikes and new equipment for the Darflinger. I see. Here, have a seat. Sharon, some tea for our guests. <laughs> Certainly.
Queen! <laughs> Welcome, all of you! Elise, Princess Alfin, good to see you both. Yes, likewise. If I recall correctly, we haven't seen each other since the end of last year. And Elise... Oh, Elise? <clears throat> uh, it's nothing. Good to see you again, Rain. Yeah, it's been too long. I heard you became student council president. Is that going well? Oh, absolutely. Her popularity with the younger students has simply skyrocketed. Everyone there relies on her all the time. Perhaps tonight, she can rely on her dearest brother to comfort her? Your Highness! <laughs> I'm glad to see you two are as close as ever. So these are the princess and Instructor Rain's little sister. Both of them are so gorgeous, it's like they stepped right out of a dream. Aha! Welcome, young Rain. Prince Oliver, it's been a while since I've seen you, too. Indeed, over a year? <laughs> Far too long by my reckoning. Late though it may be, I'd like to congratulate you on graduating. I'd also like to thank you for lending your aid to the branch campus. <laughs> I'm not worthy of those words. You've done a lot for me too, your highness. You and Toval. Let me thank you on behalf of all my classmates who aren't here today. Oh, that little parlor trick I did for you. <laughs> think nothing of it. I guess the old class seven has a lot going on. He's pretty charismatic. Just what I'd expect from a prince. Um, I'd hesitate to call him a typical prince. <laughs> so we have the new Class 7 and my very own little comrade-in-arms. It's good to see you again, Kurt. But, Tita, has it truly been three years? Well, perhaps I should play you a song to mark this joyous reunion of friends long apart. <laughs> I think we'll pass. Besides, I'm sure you don't have much time before the dinner. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're the same as ever. It is a pleasure to see you again, too, Your Majesty. Wait, what? I've heard rumors. They appear to have all been true. <laughs> Dear Oliver, can't you see the new people are overwhelmed by your charms? <laughs> Please, have a seat, everyone.
<laughs> there are some things we just can't talk about with the young ones here. Come to think of it, I suppose this is the first time we'll have spoken one-on-one -on -one like this. Yes, that's true. So, am I speaking to the Governor General of Crossbell? Or, am I speaking to the leader of the Ironbloods? <laughs> ah, the Ironbloods. Gifted children found and taken in by His Excellency Lord Osborne. Mostly the latter, to answer your question. But you forget, I'm also a former member of the Thor's Board of Directors. At the same time, my younger brother is one of your classmates. I'm certain there is an abundance of topics we could discuss. If you need to leave a message for Eusis, I'll make sure he gets it. We'll be meeting up before too long. Ah, so you've already managed to meet with some of your other classmates. Not all of them, though, hmm. I suppose it must be difficult getting hold of Gaius and Instructor Valestine. <laughs> How much does he know? <laughs> I jest. Our time is short and better spent on topics besides my brother. What I wish to discuss is your rather fascinating lineage. <gasps> okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. The group's primary member, in fact. Though that secret was, until very recently, kept between myself and His Excellency the Chancellor. Relentlessly, without looking back. <laughs> as long as you do, I'm... Sure. I'm taking over that phantasmal blaze plan of yours. And my first order of business will be sorting out the mess you left in Crossbell. Why... Why are you still alive? Crow shot you! You're supposed to be dead! I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Please, take good care of Crow for me. But in the end, he couldn't avenge his grandfather. He did get revenge on you! Was everything he did... Was his whole life for nothing? Just as you have your reasons that guide your actions, so too does His Excellency. And I believe you factor into those reasons more than you might think. Reen, I pray you grow up strong and healthy. Oh, Adios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. I'm glad to finally see you again, my son. You've grown into a fine young man. Indeed. The Empire will soon know of the Ashen Chevalier, the hero whose brave deeds allowed us to reclaim the capital. Then, please tell me. As much as I wanted to ask while all that was happening a year and a half ago, I couldn't. What is the Black Workshop? And how were they able to create Milium and Altina? What is the Phantasmal Blaze plan that Chancellor Osborne took from the Society? And how did you become leader of the Ironbloods? My lord, it's nearly time. <laughs> <laughs> I shall be there shortly. I can answer some of your questions. Only His Excellency knows the truth about the Black Workshop. He entrusted the Black Rabbit to me personally. 
Second, I'm sure Claire, Lecter, and Milliam don't know this, but it seems we're being tested. They want to see whether any of us, yourself included, can reach the core. The core? In regards to me being the leader of the Ironbloods, 12 years ago, I manipulated my father into sending a Jaeger Corps called Arngarm to attack His Excellency. Arngarm? That's the Corps V from the Imperial Liberation Front was the leader of. He said they were hired by some high-up noble to attack the Chancellor, but were completely wiped out. <laughs> I wanted to test him. I wished to see just how capable this commoner Chancellor was, and if he could figure out who did it. Then one day, when I was practicing falconry with your adoptive father, Baron Schwarzer, who should he introduce me to but His Excellency? He had known it was me the whole time. Are you so bored you feel the need to play with fire? Do you tire of your empty days spent tied down by your family and title? Yes, I apologize for the other day. But it seems you're aware it was me who sent you that little greeting. The four great houses have no future. From here on, I shall consider you my true father. And one day, surpass you. Ha <laughs> ha! Ironbloods, is it? They say children should surpass their fathers. I eagerly look forward to that day. And so, that is how I became the first Ironblood.
I can't believe you enrolled at the Branch Campus. I had no clue. I had assumed you transferred to a girls' school in Ordis. Well, to be fair, I did dodge the topic in my letters. But just for fun, I also left you a little hint here and there. <laughs> You're the same as ever. So you had all our letters to Ordis forwarded to Leaves? <laughs> Doesn't it sound like something right out of a spy novel? I did it partly so the two of you wouldn't worry. Of course, I also just wanted to surprise you. We were worried about you anyway, though. <sighs> but I'm glad to see you're okay. Your replies took longer, so I thought something may have happened to you. I wasn't able to help you at all. Neither was I. I wish there was something I could have done. Oh, you too. <laughs> Your concern is more than enough. I couldn't keep going to St. Astraya either way. Though I will say, I miss having girl talk with the princess. And hearing your tales of brotherly love, Elise. Ah, <laughs> You really haven't changed, have you? So you go by Muse at Thor's? It seems like they throw you into actual combat a lot. Are you going to be okay? Yes. This is the path I've chosen for myself. Besides, if something were happen, I'm sure your gallant brother would protect me. Huh? Huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Reen? Reen? Sorry, your highness. <laughs> Trying to listen in on a maiden's secrets, are we? <sighs> Sheesh. I guess all that explains the way you've been acting towards me this whole time. <sighs> Don't worry, Reen. It's not your fault. Yes, she's always been like this.
What? An explosion. The hell's going on? Something happened on the roof. What's going on? Here, footage from the rooftop cameras. Whoa, 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 what is that? Is that the landing ship from earlier today? Huh? Who are those guys? <laughs> Number one, the almighty conflagration. Wait, is that... One of Ouroboros' enforcers. Toa, Randy, check on the students and the inspection team. Major Michael, can you get in touch with the security forces? Got it. The elevator's out of commission. Use the emergency stairs. Understood. Uh. Instructor. Classes 7, 8, and 9, form up. Grab all your gear. We're heading to floor 36, the VIP floor. Do not break the chain of command. This is the branch campus. Security room, do you copy? Wait, you guys! Don't worry, I'll go bring him back. I'll go too. We'll return with them as soon as we can. <sighs> just what are you up to? <laughs> I just want to see how things play out for myself. Muse! Why is she... Damn it! What the heck are they doing? Leave them to Schwarzer. We need to secure the guests. Is this a reaction to those black flames? If I'm not careful, my power might break loose. Master Reen! Sharon! I shall be joining you. I've received permission from the chairman. That'll be a big help. It seems there are two of them. The almighty conflagration and... Yes, another enforcer. An extremely tricky one at that. Master Reen, we strike! Yeah, let's go! Sounds like a battle up there! Could they have already gotten inside? Patrol Archaisms! <sighs> At a time like this? Hey! Don't start the party without me! You two? Ash, I get. But why are you here, Muse? Can't let you guys steal the show every time! <laughs> I just thought it might be fun to come help you out. We can talk later. Right now, we need to defeat these things. Fine, whatever. Just be careful. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Now, let's show them a thing or two. Now, let's go! You can't escape! Fire! Wide open! Too slow! My turn! Uh, there! Yes! Ha! Sure! Hey you! Rest in peace! Ah, let's keep moving!
Let's go. Yes. Do be careful. 